And let this be a lesson to all y'all women out here moving crazy. She's literally tarnished goods. And she got a baby. Not only, not only are you a documented hoe. <laughs> and I'm not trying to shit on her. I'm not trying to shit on her. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Not, not only are you documented moving crazy online. But you, you're, a, you're a single mom now too. Like you're just a, a double whammy. Like who on earth would wife you that's worth his grain of salt? Looking back, was there anything that you would do differently? And is there a different advice that you would give to a 20-year-old girl that has the same opportunities that you did? I think the biggest thing that I would want to do differently is... Avoid the athletes. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, it's, well, I will say, um, I have to be honest with myself, because I think it's easy to take the cliche route and say, like, I would do nothing differently. Now, from the... Wisdom I have acquired, no, I would not change this wisdom for a clean slate. And that's just the God honest truth. But I will say to 20 year olds and even to my 20 year old self, mm -hmm. I hate how I allowed myself to just be like used up by men. Mm -hmm. And that came from a lack of self worth. Mm -hmm. I did not understand my value that I was born with. I didn't. Mm -hmm. And I gave, again, People look at sex differently, but sex is spiritual unification. At the end of the day, I don't care how you spin it. It's spiritual. For women. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, for, for women. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, fine. For women. It's spiritual unification. And people that I shared my body with, when I think about my list, it's repulsive mm. because they didn't deserve it. Mm. But that was an outcome of me discounting my worth. Mm -hmm. And it's disgusting. Um, I hate even having that spiritual tie in any type of way. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I would absolutely change sexually how I move around. Mm -hmm. And not even necessarily because of like the societal so, outcome. It's more so well, from my it's self like, worth. How it makes you like feel. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it doesn't yeah. feel good knowing that you gave a sacred part of you mm -hmm. to a man that looked at sex with you as taking a piss. That's not fulfilling. It's disgusting to think about. And I feel like I've beat myself up every single day for my decisions. And I, what people say about me online holds no candle to what I've told myself on a daily basis. Like, there's, I've been called worse by better, and that better be me. Like, I have talked down to myself, and I felt like I was unworthy for a very long time. And I would say this is more of a recent awareness, like mm -hmm. in the past year, mm -hmm. um, where I'm like, Brittany, you were always enough. Like, you never had to seek validation outside of you. You never had to look that far. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I would, would tell myself. I would in, in try to tell women, you should really think about who you're laying down with. Mm -hmm. Like, and that's, that is a more traditional view, but it's mm -hmm. like, sex is not even worth it if they don't give a fuck about you. Mm -hmm. They don't care about you. They, they have no desire to, they don't want to know your favorite color. They don't mm -hmm. give a shit. <laughs> so why do you want them over top of you? Mm -hmm. Again, that's come from feeling used up. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's why, the used goods comments, they sting. Because mm -hmm. you know what? There are times I felt like that. I feel like the old toy, I'm sorry, the new toy that now is unexciting mm -hmm. and put away in a box. Mm -hmm. So I just have to accept what I've done and move forward with this awareness mm -hmm. and just know that, okay, the guy that I'm, that most likely, that I'm not looking for a husband, I'm looking for my husband and there's a difference. Mm -hmm. That guy it's going to be a very small percentage and I'm okay with that. I'm at peace and I'm at peace with the things I've done. Mm -hmm. But I will say moving forward, like talking to any girl, to you, mm -hmm. in, you know, whoever's listening, mm -hmm. like you really should think about mm -hmm. why you're doing what you're doing. What, like really think about why am I attracting that? What part of me is resonating with mm -hmm. a guy like that? Mm -hmm. If you have all these complaints about him, what, what's resonating with him? Really analyzing what you're doing. That's what I would. That's pretty dope. Um, I mean, it sounds like Renner has just swallowed the fucking red pill and has been awakened to what's actually going on. And feminism had gripped a hold of her tight and had her blind as a motherfucker out here moving like a whole whore, sexually liberated and shit, empowered by it. And lo and behold, she's just, you know, 
walking in self-destruction as we speak. So to hear her talk like that, um, it's pretty cool. Because all she's doing is just spewing the, the red pill rhetoric, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're born with value. Why would you tarnish it? Why would you fuck it up? Why moving like this, man? But, you know, I've said this plenty of times. So I can understand a, a woman's plight. And I bet that shit sounds pretty weird right now because I'm, I'm, I'm typically down to, like, shit on the women out here who have been, you know, fucked up by feminism and delusion and they're so tight about it they can't see otherwise so this this would be like a you know one of those opportunities like ha ha i told you so but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that bro like she's welcome to it um but mind you like you know there's other parts in this fucking video where she, clearly she's she's not taking accountability and it's still she still walks with a lot of delusion but i'd imagine she holds that delusion intentionally to act to, to, to put a blinder up to it because it's so ugly and terrible to digest wholeheartedly that's that's a a, a a bad mirror to look at to know type of life you live in man so you know there's two things going on at once but to hear her say that like she realized what the fuck is going on but she she hasn't swallowed the whole truth entirely man back in my mind bro like for me personally like i'm sick of the whole i mean i mean i guess it's i mean this is red pill like all she was doing was you know, regurgitating the, the the red pill rhetoric that's been you know going on for for years now, man. And I'm I'm low key getting tired of the fucking red pill shit, personally, because it's always the same story, different day, right? It's the same shit, different day, but it's needed, man. Because first of all, it's like what what else can be said that hasn't been said already? You know what I'm saying? But it's just about opening eyes and getting people to realize what the fuck is going on, right? You know, I'm I'm more focused on the the, the male empowerment side of it, man. Where if you are taking care of business as a man, you will know how to avoid situations like this. And not even have to experience what it is to be with a woman like that. You wouldn't place yourself in that position, right? Um, but for women, though, like to see her say that, bro, I would hope that that would, you know, influence women to hear her say that. You know what I'm saying? Because she been out here pretty much just empowering. She been, she been out here on the fucking make the style and Cardi B shit, man. Just empowering women that got them throw the pussy all over the place. And, you know, it's yours, body autonomy. I can fuck who I want, suck who I want. If you have anything to say about it, you're insecure, blah, 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 blah. But lo and behold, like, she realizes the fucking self-damage she's doing to herself. And it's going to make it that much harder for her to find a mate. Right? I realize, I realize what I want is the, you know, a small percentage. I want my husband, not a husband. But regardless of all the things she said right there, man, it's going to be impossible 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 for her to find or i don't know i don't know what type of man she wants. i'm imagining it's still like you know he got to make some money he got to look a certain way he got to be confident charismatic all this shit man i'm imagining the man she wants is going to have options so why would this man with options attach himself to that where you can just go and type Brittany renner name online and see your women making a fucking fool out of you no one is ever gonna wife that and i mean it's fucked it's a fucked up situation you know what i mean it's a fucked up situation but no one no one of worth is going to wife that she's going to have to come way down on the totem pole to find a man to take her serious like she yeah, she's going to have to she's going to have to settle for a man she's going to you know what i mean and let this be a lesson to all y'all Women out here moving crazy. That's what the fuck happens, bro. Like she's she's literally tarnished goods, and she got a baby. Not only not only are you a documented hoe, <laughs> and I'm not trying to shit on her. I'm not trying to shit on her. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Not not only are you documented moving crazy online, but you you're a, you're a single mom now too. Like you're just a, a double whammy. Like who on earth would wife you? That's worth his grain of salt. You know what I mean? So she's just a a walking lesson for women out here right now to check themselves if they if you find yourself going this direction women men and women are not the same and she was a victim of that thinking that she could move out here like a fucking man if i can fuck them just how they fuck me just moving like a dude but that's that's a result of feminism that's a result of delusion that's a result of being lied so that's a result of the fucking gynocentric society that we are in which is lying to women that is going to result in all these women be by themselves eating cat food. What did it say? By 2030? What? 45, 50% of women out here are going to be single and alone. No kids. Renner is the epitome of that. Um, but yeah, she's just a watch. She's a lesson. It's a lesson. Let that be a lesson, bro. Let that be a lesson to the women. Men, you, got, you holding your shit down. You taking care of business, dog. You would never find yourself being associated with a woman like that to, you know, you know what I'm saying? To worry about that. Right. We avoid shit like this. You can you can see shit like that from three miles away. Now, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm straight. 
I'm straight, baby. Like, we, we can do that. But, you know, at, outside of that, no, I'm straight. You know what I mean? But see, but then now I'm about to start talking. But now what's going to happen is she's going to be much more selective on who she decides to let enter. And when it comes to a man that she won't, and then they were like, bro, you, you mean to tell me you let all these motherfuckers in the past do whatever the fuck it is they was doing with you? You know what I'm saying? And you're not going to let me get in there? We supposed to be... See, that's going to be... that. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. But there's nothing good about it, bro. At the end of the day, unless you find you... King Beta Simp out here who doesn't mind your past being documented and looking crazy and and find something in you that he can't find from anybody else. But, bruh, there's nothing positive about being a fucking whore. It's not. Literally, it's not. And we got into a point where society demonizes others for judging those moving crazy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's wild. It's wild, bruh. But, um, yeah. Hey, Pearly is killing it, bro. She out here killing it, doing the damn thing. That's hard, bro. That's hard. This fucking um, podcast is like hour 45, man. I, I'm not doing all that. But, um, yeah, if there's other parts of this y'all want me to tap into, please let me know. We, we, we will peep. I know she got Tate coming up. And I'm curious to see how that's going to be. But, uh, yeah.